Okay, great Friday. Welcome back to the Somewhat Daily Chino Home Show. I'm going to race through these. We have about six properties. If I ever race too fast and you want to see more information about one of these, then of course just reach out. Here you have the Preserve. First one up, it's a condo. 435, three bedroom, two bath. Pretty large condo, 200 square feet. I'm not, uh, I've said this before, I love the Preserve. Yeah, it's great, you got a clubhouse, but with the condos, you're paying double HOA. So you're uh, paying just under $400. That seems pricey, but like I have said in the past, Preserve is great because you're taking advantage of Chino Hill Schools, and they have a great school that's walking distance from anywhere in the Preserve. Uh, I think it's K through eight. So that's very nice. And that's a great home, open house this weekend. I'm ready to go, let's go, give me a call. Okay, let's go to the next one. <clears throat> 10 hours ago, this one's 745, pricey, but there's a nice home. Five bedroom, three and a half bath, uh, 3,500 square feet, large. Nice uh, pictures, very well. They did a great job of staging this. Uh, I would assume they brought in professional stagers unless these people just have just really nice furniture. Um, well, no, I, I take that back. That's the next one we're gonna look at, but this is a very nice home. Um, and they do have nice furniture, so these people have good taste. Uh, here you have a little out exterior part, nice planter thing happening here, nice view of a wall. Uh, I love these outdoor fireplaces. I'd love to have one of those. Uh, this appears to be fake grass with a putting green, which is uh, nice. You have a decent sized garage. It's, you have a park nearby. So nice home, uh, 2016 newer home, nice sized lot. And that one, just in case you're curious, is just, just uh, below Edison off Mountain. I know it feeds into a high scoring grade school, then the middle school drops off in terms of uh, in terms of school score. Okay, let's take a look at this. Who are those people? Who knows? Okay, another nice home, 518, 1900 square feet, 332. Uh, th this is the one I was thinking of that is just staged really well. Or these people have great uh, remodeling taste. See, great textures. I don't know about the lighting with the, you know, it looks like a professional photographer came in here, but the lighting, I don't know if they're going with a romantic mood, but it does just come off as a little bit romantic. So that's nice. There's that one. And now we're gonna go to this one, which I'm gonna criticize the pictures a little bit for. Uh, here, you just right off the bat, you have this stain here. I mean, get a pressure washer and wash that off. And then you have this whole entryway. You've got to think, when someone comes to see the house, what is their eye line going to be? You know, you have to mimic the, the touring pattern that people are going to take and what they're going to actually see and focus on. So, and I know that these people also, according to the record, bought this for, I think, 163 or something in that range. I mean, they're going to make a, a ridiculous amount of money on this house. You really want to put some money into a house before you sell it, especially if you're going to have that kind of gain. Roof issues. You know, I'm sure the home inspection is going to come back with some things. Here, I mean, there's no real excuse for this. And I don't know, I don't want to blame this on the realtor. I mean, some people just don't want to move their stuff. But obviously, a trash can would be useful in this situation. Not good. You got this. You got it. It's uh, probably never seen Sanford and Son because you're probably not as old as me. But, I mean, you got a palm tree business going out here, which isn't terrible. But then just some random garbage in the yard. A lawn doesn't appear to be mowed. I, I don't want these people coming after me, but you know, all this, none of this stuff should be in the shot. When you're selling a house, it should be model home, and it doesn't matter that this is older. This is an interesting touch. You can still make your place look very clean and um, approachable, so people aren't distracted. People are going to be thinking about why there's so much clutter instead of trying to picture their own things in the house. But I mean, the house has a lot of potential. It's n it's a nice home, and so pictures are bad, but the home is not so bad. All right, let's go to this next one. Uh, no pictures on this one. I don't understand that. You're selling a house. Take the time to put some pictures together before you sell it. 530, 42, 1600 square feet. They say it's fully remodeled. I'd love to see that. That would be nice to know. Uh, and this one is <clears throat> just off Easton and Chino down in this pocket. Uh, and doesn't feed into the best schools. And here we have, this is my favorite picture. I'll come back to that. Let's jump out to the main picture real quick. 
So you can see these are pretty decent pictures. Uh, not They don't look so professional, but they're not terrible. And this is on Canary, 498, four bedroom, two and a half bath, almost 2,000 square feet, built in 2002. And you can see this is down Riverside and Mountain. And this, this one, let's just flip back. Um, it has a playground which, right next to it, which is nice. I don't know, the chairs are not arranged right. This is just, this is relaxing on a Friday. You've got your refrigerator right here. Bust open a bottle of wine, boom, you're in the bath. It reminds me of a friend I had from Oklahoma who uh, would put an ice chest by his couch on every Friday and then go pee outside in the backyard. It's just, you know, you're living the life. This is the dream right here. Okay, that's it for the houses that are new. I did, let's touch quickly if this loads. Uh, the least expensive house in Chino uh, at, to date would be this condo for 214. So if you're looking to just edge your way into Chino, this is the way to do it. Uh, one bedroom, one bath, 632 square feet, very small. Um, but this is not a bad condo, decently put together. Just quickly flipping through. It's not in bad shape for this price. This is not a bad uh, complex. You have some washer and dryer, a little pool. Um, I don't know what kind of other clientele live in this uh, community. Um, and it does seem like the lower priced or the lowest priced places just are sort of these condos right around Chino High School. So obviously there's, there's a reason that those are a little bit cheaper. But if you're trying to get in the city, that might be the way to do it. Okay, have an awesome weekend. And if you need anything from me, I'll be around.